It's Chef Moorhead here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your NVIDIA drivers actually run the game, not your Intel chip uh, set. I realized that my iRacing was running at like 30 frames a second, 20 frames per second uh, on my MSI laptop. It's got the GTX 970M GeForce chip uh, on low settings. It was horrifying. Uh, that's because it was running off my Intel Core i7 and it actually wasn't running underneath of my actual graphics card. So I'm going to show you how to do that today guys and I'll show you a little trick that I did. Now I'm running 150 frames per second. You got shadows. Everything's on high. Everything's running perfect. Uh, my game went from looking like NASCAR 98 to Forza 7. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I would show you on uh, OBS more clear view but I'm gonna actually show you from my cell phone camera uh, I can't get eye racing to show up on there I've tried it numerous times but I'll show you guys my settings I have the GTX 970 M uh, graphics card and not really sure what the gigabyte RAM is I think it's 16 I'm not sure 8 16 um, I could probably show you all that guys too but uh, it, it, it's insane. It runs so much better now. And it's a little trick that I found on a forum board. So uh, welcome, enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I just wanted to show this to you. It is 16 gigabytes RAM. Uh, I have all this fun stuff in there. This is my laptop. I'm going to show you my settings that I have. Um, all right, so I'm going to close out of all this good stuff. All right, so the first thing I did, I went on to the NVIDIA web page here uh, went to the download drivers so you're gonna see this here product type you're gonna click on whichever one you have here I have the GeForce I have the 900M series so like when you click on these it's gonna pop up like that obviously mine's a notebook uh, and then you see a GTX 970M so you can click that uh, obviously put in if you got 64 bit whatever and then you click search and then when you click search, you're going to download the driver. So, bam, right there. That's all you need to do. All right, so from there on, you get this awesome driver, which I have open down here. So, one, well, I'm about ready to jump into Martinsville race. Uh, you got the control panel, which if it doesn't boot as soon as you have it downloaded. What it does, it, it even deletes your old drive, uh, your old um uh, settings there all that stuff you'll see it when it's installing it'll remove your old system out you click it and it'll pop up so this is the biggest thing right here so so many books marks this you're going to go to up here where it says 3d settings where's my mouse okay and you're going to go to manage 3d settings this is where it's jacked because this was not originally on high performance it was on auto select Know what I'm saying, man? You see that? It was on auto select. So that means my freaking laptop was running underneath the iCore. No joke, dude. No joke. I didn't I have not clicked this, so I'm gonna Okay, there we go. Actually, it looks like you can customize your own program and stuff too. Like, look, you can probably customize if you want to play Assassin's Creed. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave that there. It looks like you can just customize different games, maybe. I'm not really sure. But you guys want to make sure you're running underneath the NVIDIA processor, which is your graphics card. It's the G4, so duh. I know you. I'm going to get a lot. I'm going to take the heat for that. That was dumb. All right, so when you're done that, make sure you click. There's going to be apply button there next to your time. Or when you go to the next one, say, do you want to save your changes? So the next thing I did was the PhysX configuration. This was not on GeForce. This was on Intel graphics. I am not kidding. I'm not joking, dude. I'm seriously not kidding. That was on Intel. And to be honest with you, that is ridiculous. Um, what's also cool, you'll remember you go down there, you click apply. Come back up here. This thing looks so much god dang better than what it originally looked like. You should see how crappy it was. It seriously was like an N64 graphics. So that right there ticked me off. Thank God somebody on an iRacing 
uh, forum page from 2016 told me all that good stuff. So we're going to close out of this. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to be on your iRacing homepage. You're going to go to settings. And I'm not going to do this. I'm not doing this because I'm going to lose all my crap that I've done. I want to show you what I'm actually running. So you're going to run graphics config now right here. You're going to run that. And then when it pops up there, it should say your chipset right there. Mine always said auto select. So I don't know what your guys' will say. And then when you click OK, you're going to choose your resolution. This is my secret. I don't know if this works or not, but this is my secret. You can run 1080p all you want. I run 720p because I broadcast it to that big old HD TV right there. And to be honest with you, when I'm running in 1080p and I'm sitting all the way in my open wheeler chair there, I can't read the damn writing. So really, I don't really notice the difference between 720p and 1080p. Uh, just that the 720 is just a little bit bigger writing in there. So what I did was, instead of doing 720, I downscaled it one more time. And this is the trick. I downscaled it one, minus one, then 720. Because I did this one last step. All right, so we're going to test the car on this track here. Watch this, boys. Watch this. All right, so it's uploading here. Sorry for making you sick. I'm actually holding my phone right now. This is what's great. Oh, and also make sure your laptop's plugged in because that'll help you. And I'm running on Steam. I don't know if running on Steam is going to help you guys out or not. All right. So iRace is booting up. I already noticed that the mouse isn't getting stuck and getting choppy and stuff. On the loading screen, my mouse is getting chunked. Now it's running completely smooth. There's a, there's a little bit there. I mean, you got to think it's loading. But watch this. This is unreal. This is seriously unreal. Okay, so it loads up. Holy crap, I can actually see the damn dirt. That was just a big old gray box on my old settings. I am not kidding. It was the biggest piece of crap. Holy crap, are you serious? There's freaking signs. There's a scoreboard there. Not to mention, watch this. Oh, okay, they're not going to show up. There's grandstands. And I'm running 160. That's ridiculous. I was running 30 frames on my Intel. So we're going to go down here to graphics here. Yeah, go ahead. I, I blew it right there. Look at that. Auto clutch. Go ahead, man. Do whatever you want. Make fun of me. So I have it on 720p. But remember, remember this. I had it set at the first, the top one. That's what I set it underneath the reset config. I had it underneath that one. Then I upscaled it. So it auto configured my computer to have medium, high, medium, low. All right, now, so don't get me wrong. I had the Grand Sands low detail. I have not upped that. So I have medium crowds because I don't really care about that. But everything else is legit, dude. This is the biggest thing here. Eight times antiscropic. I was running zero. I was, so this, we'll go down there on my Intel chip. Sky detail low. Cars I ran at high just because I'm an idiot. No pit objects. I had no event. I had no grandstands. I had no crowds. I had no objects, no particles. I had no full res. I, so I did do one thing here. I put no limit on the frame rate. Don't know if my laptop's going to overheat or not. I heard some things that max out 84. I don't know. I'll have to let you know about that. I had zero antiscropic, whatever the hell that is. I had no rendering. I had no shadows. I had no night shadows. I had no, like I did have the mirrors on and everything. I only have a maximum of two cockpit mirrors. I had four, like it defaulted me as four, but I don't use mirrors. Um, I just, It's just unreal, dude. Like, this is crazy. And then down here, this is what I run. Um, I just run that. I mean, I, I didn't adjust any of them sliders. And I have a pre-rendered frame of one. So uh, I'll, I'll hold this guys here for you so you can get a st still a view of everything I got on here. Uh, 
But remember, the resolution, I had it down a little bit. And then I bumped it up. And keep in mind, I didn't do the grandstands. I did not do the grandstands. I'll just jump in this cockpit here. It's on real. I mean, I know this is on my uh, phone right now. But the cockpit is actually freaking, like, shiny. The, they're, like, if I zoom in on this, like, the bars are actually a damn bar. It used to be, like, a square box. Like, it looks freaking amazing. And if you see that right there, there's sun coming through my damn car. That's unreal. So, guys, I'm telling you one thing. I had the thing set up wrong. I was about ready to go buy a new graphics car. All I did was install the drivers. It's running off of my thing now. It, my laptop is a little bit more noisier now. I mean, that's probably the graphics chip fan there blowing there. Uh, but, I mean, as you tell up there, it's getting good frames per second. I mean, it's, just, it's, whoa. Oh, okay, my car is in gear. So, I mean, that's just unreal, dude. I mean, it literally feels like I'm Forza 7 now. But uh, thank you all for watching, man. If you want me to slow down and show you some more things here. Uh, so my, my biggest thing, download the new drivers. Uh, downscale it when you're doing it, the pre-config. And then upscale it to what you actually want it. Uh, that really helped when I went underneath the options. So if you run 1080p, do your thing at 720. But I do 720, so I did mine at 680, and then I upscaled it just so that it looked even better. Like it just, that's unreal, boys. But uh, thank you all for watching. If you got any comments, like I said, leave it in there. Thank you all for watching, dudes.